Oh, okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for uh, thank you for attending this presentation today. I'm Yi Xi Tian, the postdoctoral research scientist from Columbia University, Earth and Environmental Engineering. And uh, today I will introduce my research about performance of structural concrete using the waste to energy uh, combined ash. The background pictures shows a waste to energy plant located in Copenhagen, Denmark, with a ski slope on its roof. It represents the urban multiplism for the future cities that turns the city waste into its own energy source. Uh, and my, my advisors are Professor Bosalas, Professor Kalashma, uh, she's also here today, and uh, Professor Similis. So first of all, let's see the waste to energy residues generations. So waste to energy uh, the waste to energy plant are fueled by the post-recycling municipal solid waste and then gen generating about 7 million tons of waste to energy residues every year in the US. The waste to energy systems has two types of the residues, bottom ash and fly ash. The bottom ash is the combustion residues weighing about 20% of the total municipal solid waste. Uh, in the white discharge system, in the white discharge system, the combusted particles uh, drop from the end of moving with furnace and quenched in the water and forming agglomerated bottom ash. The fly ash is the air pollution control residues weighing about 3% of the total municipal solid waste. Uh, in the air pollution control system, the hydrated lime and activity carbon are injected into the scrubber to react with the acid gas and the volatile metals. Uh, and the fly ash was collected from the bag house. The modern waste energy plant will assemble with the metal recycling facilities. So after the forest and non-forest metals recycling, the bottom ash and the fly ash are mixed to the combined ash and are sent to the landfill. This is the current disposal method. So the benefits and the challenges. According to the uh, following the principles of circular economy, the European Commission encourages the utilization of waste to energy residues after the metal recycling uh, uh, as the secondary construction materials. And uh, the civil engineering products can also stabilize and solidify the pollutants from the waste to energy residues. For the waste to energy plants, reuse the waste to energy residues can reduce the cost of landfill. And also for the construction field, uh, reusing the waste to energy residues as a secondary materials can reduce the cost of natural materials uh, purchasing and the high environmental impact of the resources extraction. As for the challenges, um, because of the device feedstock of municipal solid waste, uh, the waste energy combined ash is a very heterogeneous materials, contains the mineral fractions, uh, glass, ceramics, metals, uh, ferrous metals, non-ferrous metals, and embered organics. Compared to the coal ashes, the waste to energy ash, uh, especially the bottom ash fractions, has lower cementious reacti reac reactivity. Therefore, the set separation, uh, characterization, and the selection will be better for the application design. And uh, leaching of heavy metals is another issue for the waste to energy residues. So, uh, they, uh, so in our research, we also examine the leachability of uh, heavy metals in all concrete products. Uh, let's see the particle size distribution. The particle size distribution of the Combined ash is shown in the green line in this particle size distribution graph. The so combined ash undergoes water washing, crushing, and screening and to, uh, to three ash fractions, including 27% of the coarse combined ash in the set of 9.5 to 25 milliliter, 37% uh, of the medium combined ash in the set range of 2 to 9.5 milliliter, and 25% of the fun combined ash in the set range of less than 2 milliliter. These three fractions of the ash are granulated stone-like materials, and their particle size are also uh, shown in this graph. The rest percentage, including the dissolved compounds during the water washing process, uh, in, uh, such as the chloride salt, and also the, wash, uh, the washed out dust, which is collected as the filter cake ash, uh, also received from the water treatment system. According to the ash properties, the coarse and the medium combined ash can be used as a stone, -like, uh, st uh, stone aggregate substitute. And uh, for, the uh, for the fun combined ash, 
the uh, it, there ha there has two direction of the applications. Either directly using it as a stand substitute, or melting into powder and using it as a cement substitute. Because of the specific gravity for coarse and medium combined ash are similar to that of the crushed gravel, the mass replacement is conducted in this special concrete design and up to the replacement uh, up to 100%. Uh, however, for the fun combined ash, the specific of it is half of that for the, uh, is half specific uh, gravity than that of the natural river sand. Therefore, the traditional mass replacement will result in the total volume increase. So, for so in our studies, so in our study, uh, in all cement mortars, the volume replacement is conducted in our mixed design. Uh, when the fun combined ash used the stand substitute, the replacement is up to one hundred percent of one hundred volume um, percentage, and when it is ground to powder, it is uh, the replacement is up to fifty volume percentage. Okay, so let's see the research outline. For the concrete products, the comparative strengths, elastic modulus, and the density word content are examined for the concrete products uh, made by the coarse and medium combined ash. For the cement mortar, the comparative strengths is uh, examined, and the uh, workability was examined by the flow table. Uh, we also used the XRD quantification to investigate the mineral transformation, and also the morphology was identified by the SEM. Uh, from the environmental perspectives, uh, we also examine the legibility of all uh, cement, uh, uh, cement motors and the concrete products. Um, and uh, finally, we receive in the conclusions and then the interesting directions for the future work. Okay, let's see the result. For the coarse and the medium ash in the, uh, in the concrete, we can see uh, um, so up to 100% of the stone aggregate in the concrete can be substituted by the medium or coarse combined ash. And the 28 days uh, comparative strains exceed, exceeded 28 meter pascal, which is uh, comparable to the commercial concrete. The so wood content also has a crucial influence on the density and the comparative strains. Um, as, as we can see from this photo for the 100% ash uh, concrete, the fracture surface, the small surface of the ceramic and then the, uh, and the glass result in the cracks uh, for during a compar comparison test. So this is the result for these two ash fractions, uh, mechanical strength decrease. And uh, this is the characterization for the fun combined ash uh, 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 for the application design. And uh, we, can, uh, we can see from the particle size distribution, the fun combined ash shares the same particle size drink as that for the natural river sand, and the melt fun combined ash shares the same particle size range of that of the Portland cement. And uh, when the fun combined ash is used as the sand substitute, it was considered has no additional cementious or pozzolanic reactions due to the particle size. However, when we ground it, the ground the fun combined ash to powder and use as the cement substitute, the particle size was reduced and uh, at the same time uh, increasing with the relative surface area. Therefore, it can influence the cement hydration reactions. Uh, additionally, the chemical composition for the fun combined ash also have significant role during the cement hydration mm -hmm. reactions. The fun combined ash contains uh, 29 percentage of the calcium oxide, 34 percentage of the silica oxide, and 10 percentage of the aluminum oxide. The silica and the aluminum compounds in the fun combined ash has possibility to react with the Portland date in the cementious hydration products through so the pozzolanic reaction. Um, this slide is about the fun combined ash uh, uh, cement mortar properties. Um, because of the fun combined ash is a porous material uh, with a high water absorption rate of 12.8%. 12, 12 uh, when the fun combined ash was used as the sand substitute in the cement motor production, the additional water was compensated to the mixture based on the high water absorption rate. As we can see from the workability result, uh, test by the fleet, uh, flow table. The good, uh, the good workability and the consistency was received due to the water compensation. And uh, for the comparative strains, for the fun combined ash replaced the sand and the mild fun combined ash replaced the Portland cement. 
generally speaking, with the uh, uh, with the increasing replacement of the ash uh, in the in the system, the comparative strength was decreased. The tenable comparative strength uh, at 28 days uh, uh, and at 28 28 megapascal was limited to the fun combined ash uh, replace the sun. At a 50 uh, at 50 volume percentage, and it was limited uh, when the mild fun combined ash replaced the Portland cement at 20, uh, 25 volume percentage. The reason for the strength decrease is due to the metallic aluminum in the fun combined ash, and which we, I will explain later in the morphology result. Yeah, so as for uh, to investigate the mineral transformation for fun combined ash in the cement in the cement hydration uh, system, the cement the cement paste uh, with the ash addition from zero to one hundred percent was investigated by the XRD quantification analysis in the water to cement ratio of 24. And uh, to prevent the influence of atmospheric CO2, all cement paste samples was cured in water and sealed by the polypropylene film. And this result was also examined by the TGA analysis. And uh, let's see the result. First of all, uh, the mineral, uh, the, the, mine, the fine combined ash can contribute to the more amorphous phases uh, and reaches the highest at the 50 volume percentage of the replacement. The yellow range is the Portland date. Compared to the pure, uh, pure uh, uh, cement paste with the zero ash addition, the 50 percentage ash one, the Portland date is less than half of that of the reference. This phenomenon indicates the Portland date in the cement hydration pro uh, products react with the silicate compounds in the fine combined ash through the Portlandic reactions and result in the more amorphous phases. The second transformation is the calcite. The calcite in the melt fun combined ash can react with the cement hydration products and form monocarbonates, hemicarbonates, accompanying the formation of uh, hydrocolamide and uh, hydrocolamide and antigate. So this is the mineral transformation we investigate for the, the cement substitute material. And this is the uh, uh, this is the SEM result for the derived products. As we can see from this graph, this is the 100% fine combined ash cement mortar. The metallic aluminum in the fine combined ash results in the uh, hydrogen gas bubbles, and these gas bubbles will result in the gas cracks through the cementious phases. And also the interfacial transition tool was generated around, around the ash particles. And this is the reason why the, uh, with the increasing of the fun combined ash, the comparative strength was decreased as I discussed in the previous uh, slides. This is, these two figures show the fun combined ash particles before and after it mixed with the water. The, fun, uh, the melt fun combined ash will, will react with the water and uh, uh, with the very weak binding properties and also uh, forming this loosely caking paste structures. And this image shows the, uh, show the 50 volume uh, melt fun combined ash replace cement in, uh, in the cement paste. As we can see the round bubbles distrib distributed through the cement paste, uh, because uh, it's also due to the metallic aluminum. Mm -hmm. And at this time, the melt fun combined ash has smaller particle size than that uh, in the original side. So the, uh, so the bubbles was increased and uh, at the same time decreased the, the comparative strength linearly as I showed in the melt fun combined ash cement mortar comparative strength. So let's see the leachability result. Uh, the leachability of heavy metals in the ash and the derived uh, cement mortar and concrete products uh, show in this slide uh, compared to the UK WAC landfill limits. Uh, I label the uh, solid line for the non hazardous limits and the dosh line for inert waste. Uh, as we can see from the, uh, the leachability of heavy metals uh, were controlled by three reasons. The first one is the concentration of heavy metals in the ash samples itself. And second reason is the mineralogy of the ash. And the third one is the elute pH for the leaching, pro, uh, leaching samples. Uh, as we can see from the concrete result, uh, in, all, uh, in all concrete, 
the reachability of heavy metals was reduced to less than the inert waste limits, except of chromium, due to the Portland cement has higher concentration of chromium than the ash. And uh, this is the story of fine fractions. Uh, as for the fine combined ash, the cardium, copper, nickel, and lead exceeded the non-hazardous landfill limits. In comparison, in all cement mortar samples, the reachability of heavy metals was significantly reduced. Uh, and under the non-hazardous landfill limits in all cement mortar products. Therefore, we can conclude introducing the coarse combined ash or medium combined ash to concrete as the stone aggregate substitute and the fine combined ash to cement mortar, uh, cement mortar can effectively stabilize and solidify the heavy metals and transform these three ash fractions to the non-hazardous or inert materials. And that can be used for the construction. Uh, let's see the conclusion. So, uh, uh, so first of all, up to 100% of the stone aggregate can be substituted in the part, uh, in the uh, combined ash in the set range of uh, two to 25 milliliter, and uh, the uh, the pro the products uh, the concrete products exhibit uh, the 28 day comparative strength, which is larger than 20 uh, 28 megapascal com comparable to the commercial concrete. And uh, for the cement uh, for the cement mortar to achieve the attainable. Uh, Comparative strength of 28 uh, megapascal. The sand substitute for, uh, by the fine combined ash is uh, limited to the 50 volume percentage. And uh, when the melt fine combined ash replaces the Portland cement, the replacement is limited to the 25 volume percentage. Uh, and for the transformation, the melt fine combined ash contributes to the more amorphous phases through the pozzolanic reaction. This is a very interesting phenomenon. And uh, from the environmental perspective, utilizing the fun command ash in the concrete and also effectively stabilize and solidify the heavy metals and reduce the leachability of that. So in the future work, uh, we, will, we are interested to, uh, to compare the similarities and difference for visto energy flash bottom ash in the different set fractions and coal flash bottom ash in the different set fractions focus on the mineral transformations and also their cementious reactivity. So that will be an interesting work in the next stage. Uh, so comes the acknowledgement. Uh, uh, so thank you to the uh, concrete support from the civil engineering department uh, talent and lab. And thank you to the Kowanda company, the waste energy company provide us the waste energy residues. Thanks to the uh, financial supports for global WTRT Council and uh, thanks to the uh, Columbia University Earth Engineering Center. And also thanks to the PhD students in our research group, Dian Dian Zhao, Ala, and Palash for their daily help. Thank you everyone for your today's listening. If you have uh, any questions, uh, you can uh, ask me now or send, send, send me the email. <laughs>